Okay then my friends, so in this video we're going to take what we now hopefully know about Flexbox to align a little icon at the left of each of these to-do items. And that icon is going to be some kind of cross just so that a user knows by clicking on an item they can delete it. Now before we do that, first of all we need to understand how to use icons in React Native using Expo. So let's take a little look at that first of all. So I'm over here on the Expo documentation on the icons page and I'm going to leave a link to this down below in the description so you can peruse this at your own pleasure. And basically what this is telling us is that when we initialize a new React Native project using Expo like we did when we said Expo init, then that project comes along with the availability to add icons out of the box. We do not need to install any other package and we do that by importing from this thing right here at expo forward slash vector hyphen icons and what this does for us is bundle up icons from loads of different sources like material icons or other things as well and in fact we can see all of those over here if we click on that link we can see these icons are from ant design if we scroll down a bit we can see this one and typo and feather font awesome foundation material icons etc now what we could do is search for an icon right here because we need the name of the icon and we need to know where it's coming from. So for example, I could search for delete and I can see this little bin right here looks okay. This one is from material icons, which is the one I probably use instead of a cross. So it's from material icons and it's called delete. Now, the way we use this, oops, if I go back to this other page, is that first of all, we import whatever library we want from this thing right here. So we want material icons because that is the thing that we selected. If I type delete and enter, you can see it's from material icons. So we need to import material icons from at expo forward slash vector icons. Then all we do is we use an icon like this. However, instead of this being ion icons or ionicons we instead use material icon okay so if we go forward again remember we want the delete name right here and material icons so let me copy this line first of all and we're going to paste this into our project so let me minimize that and then let's go to the to do item this is where we want to create it so first of all we need to import material icons. So let's change this to material icons like so. And then down here we can add the icon. So we do that by just using this component right here that we imported. So I'm going to do it before the text. And in fact, what I'm going to do is surround both of these items with a view component just to bunch them together and we can style them that way as well. So I'm going to create a view component first of all and in fact we need to import that up here as well so view and then we'll give this a style and that will be equal to styles dots and we'll call it item since each one of these is an item now i'm going to paste this text component inside the view itself like this and above that is where i want to display the icon so we just say material icons like so and it's a self-closing tag then we need to say what the name of the icon was. Well, in our case, it was delete. That was the name that we found on that list of icons. Okay, so if I save this now, we should be able to see that little icon here in each one of the items. And we can see it right here. Now, it doesn't look great at the minute, and that's because of two things. First of all, we want to take off the style from this text because now we have styles.item and styles.item. We only want the wrapper to have those styles now and not the text itself, so we don't get a dotted line around both of them. So let's delete that style thing first of all and save it. This should look marginally better, uh, but we also need to add some extra styles to this in a second as well because at the minute, this is above the text and I want it to be to the left hand side. I also want to configure this icon a little bit because it looks a bit small and the color looks a bit harsh as well. Now, fortunately, we can add to the icon tag over here. We can add a size prop and that is going to be an integer. So I could say 18 pixels and then also I'm going to add on a color prop and that is going to be some kind of deep gray, but not quite as harsh as black. So three, three, three. 
and that doesn't need to be inside curly braces not sure why i added those if we save that this should look a little bit better already okay so the icon looks better now i just want to display it to the left of the text now by default they're stacking one on top of the other and remember that is the default display of items inside a view because the default value of the flex direction of a view is a column so all we need to do is take this essentially class now this item class down here and change the flex direction to be row and then they're going to sit next to each other instead of on top of each other and already that is looking a bit better now I'm also going to add a style prop to this text and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to style this text slightly differently as well because really I want to add a little gap on the left of the text just to bring it away from this icon so I'm going to give this a style of styles dot item text and then down here let's do that I'm going to say item text and then I'm going to say margin left will be around about 10 pixels so save that and hopefully this is going to look a bit better and it doesn't because i've incorrectly spelled left so let me delete that i and save again okay looking better so there we have it now we've used an icon and we've used a little bit of flexbox to display that icon inside each one of these items now let's make sure everything still works by clicking on one of these yep it does and again let's add one test add to do and everything still works so i think that's as far as i want to take this to do app so in the next video we're going to move on to the next project now which is going to be the reviews app that you saw at the very beginning of this whole series we'll start that in the very next video